Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 28. In this question we have two sequences and they both start the same with x squared and 5y. We're given some rules for the sequences, so for sequence A we add together the previous two terms and for sequence B we multiply together the previous two terms. We're also told that the fifth term of the first sequence is 227 and the third term of the second sequence is 1040. So it makes sense for us to find an expression for the fifth term of the first sequence and the third term of the second sequence. So let's continue the first sequence up to the fifth term. Remember we're adding the previous two terms. So if we add x squared and 5y, we just get x squared plus 5y. If we add the previous two terms, we add 5y and x squared plus 5y, which is x squared plus 10y. And to get the fifth term, we add the third and the fourth term. So we add x squared plus 5y and x squared plus 10y, which is 2x squared plus 15y. And we also want the third term of this second sequence here, so we just multiply the first two terms, and that's 5x squared y. Now we know the fifth term of the first sequence is 227, so this one here is equal to 227, and the third term of the second sequence is equal to 1040, so that's this term here. This gives us two equations, we've got 2x squared plus 15y equals 227, and 5x squared y equals 1040. They're simultaneous equations. I'm going to solve this one by rearranging the second equation first. I'm going to make x squared the subject by dividing both sides by 5y. On the left I get x squared, and on the right I get 1040 divided by 5y. Now 1040 is a multiple of 5, so I can cancel that with the 5 on the bottom, and I get 208 divided by y. I can now substitute x squared in the first equation for 208 over y. So I'm going to write the first equation out again, but replace the x squared for that. So it's two lots of x squared, which I now know is 208 over y, plus 15y equals 227. I can write the first term here as a single fraction by multiplying the 2 and the 208 to get 416 over y. And now if I multiply all terms by y, I get 416 plus 15y squared equals 227y. So we have a quadratic, we're going to get all of the terms on the left, so if I subtract 227y from both sides, I get 15y squared minus 227y plus 416 equals 0. Now believe it or not, this quadratic will factorise, you get 15y take away 32, and for the second bracket, y minus 13, and this equals 0. So this will give you two solutions, now the second bracket is a bit easier, you just get y equals 13, and the first bracket you would get y equals 32 over 15. But the question says that x and y are both non-negative integers. 32 doesn't divide by 15, so that's not an integer, so we can lose that part of the solution. Now we just need to find the x values corresponding to this y value. So what I'll do is take this rearranged form of the equation here, and I'll write that out again, but I know that y is 13. So x squared equals 208 divided by 13. Now 208 does divide by 13, that's 16. So we've got x squared equals 16, and if you square root both sides, you'll get two solutions for x. We'll get plus 4 and negative 4, but again we don't want the negative solution, so it's just plus 4. So you end up with y equals 13, and x equals 4. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.